Have you ever wondered if the laws of physics could potentially prove the existence of God? This intriguing question has left both believers and skeptics in a state of intellectual tug of war for centuries. Albert Einstein himself once proposed a question of profound elegance and depth. If there is a God who created the entire universe and all of its laws of physics, does God follow God's own laws? Or can God supersede his own laws, such as traveling faster than the speed of light, and thus being able to be in two different places at the same time? Could the answer to this question help us prove whether or not God exists? Or is this where scientific empiricism and religious faith intersect with no absolute answer? First, let's consider if God can travel faster than light. The speed of light, as per our current understanding of physics, is about 186,000 miles per second. This is considered the ultimate speed limit in the universe, a boundary that can't be crossed. A group of physicists a few years ago suggested that particles called tachyons could exceed the speed of light, but these hypothetical particles are yet to be observed. So far, no object, phenomenon, or information in the universe has been observed to travel faster than light. But does this provide any insight into the existence of God? Not directly. It merely underlines our current understanding of physics. The cosmic setting gets more fascinating when we consider the multiverse theory. It postulates that our universe is just one of the infinite universes in existence. The multiverse is a solution to a conundrum. Why does our universe appear to be finely tuned for life? Why are the physical laws and parameters just right for stars, planets and life to evolve? Some argue it's a happy coincidence. Others see it as a sign of a divine creator. But in the multiverse, the physical laws may differ from one universe to another, making our universe not a unique, finely tuned anomaly, but rather one of the countless variations in the cosmic lottery. Yet how does the multiverse relate to God? If God is indeed boundless and omnipotent, would they not exist across all universes? Could God be a cosmic entity transcending all universes, the master puppeteer orchestrating the grand cosmic ballet? The intersection of God and physics takes a further twist when we delve into the realm of quantum mechanics. The quantum world allows for bizarre phenomena such as quantum entanglement, where two particles can become instantaneously connected, no matter the distance between them. This spooky action at a distance seems to defy the universal speed limit set by light. Quantum entanglement might imply that there are ways to connect two points in space instantaneously, breaking our conventional understanding of space and time. So does this all mean that physics can prove the existence of God? Not quite. Scientific inquiry requires empirical evidence and falsifiability, whereas religious belief often relies on faith. God, as a concept, is beyond the scope of scientific falsifiability. The presence or absence of a deity doesn't alter the scientific understanding of the universe. The cosmos, as we understand it, is consistent with both theistic and atheistic views. The entwining of God and physics ultimately boils down to perspective and interpretation. As we continue our cosmic journey of discovery, perhaps we will find more intersections between science and religion. Yet, as Terry Pratchett whimsically noted in Reaper Man, light thinks it travels faster than anything but it is wrong. No matter how fast light travels, it finds the darkness has always got there first and is waiting for it. In the grand tapestry of the universe, we're just beginning to tease out the threads of understanding guided by the twin lights of scientific inquiry and philosophical contemplation. As we probe the mysteries of the cosmos, from the infinitesimal realm of quantum mechanics to the unfathomably large scope of multiverses, we are continually challenging our understanding of reality. Yet how do these tremendous truths shape our concept of God? One way to perceive God in this context is as the ultimate physicist, the grand designer who coded the laws of the universe or perhaps the multiverse. However, for others, the more we unravel about the universe, the less need there is for a divine architect. These cosmic revelations, while astonishing, do not necessarily bring us closer to any definitive proof of God's existence or non-existence. They instead stretch our mind's boundaries, prompting us to reconsider and refine our understanding of the divine. Quantum entanglement, for instance, with its instantaneous connections, invites us to conceive of God as a cosmic web of entanglement linking every particle, every field, and every force. It offers a scientifically grounded way to visualize omnipresence, a common attribute ascribed to God. Yet even such sophisticated musings are bound by our limited understanding of the quantum world. As our exploration of the cosmos continues to expand and deepen, 
we are likely to encounter more mind-boggling phenomena, further challenging our notions of God and the universe. Perhaps we will discover new dimensions of space-time, or detect signals from parallel universes, or even crack the quantum gravity puzzle. Each of these advances will likely reshape our understanding of the cosmos, and consequently, our interpretation of God's place in it. However, at the end of the day, the idea of God is likely to remain immune to empirical scrutiny. Both belief and disbelief in God hinge on faith, whether in divine scriptures or human reasoning. Science and religion, despite occasional overlaps, tread different paths and answer different questions. Science is the torch that illuminates the cosmos, revealing its laws and phenomena, while religion is the compass that guides us through life's existential quests. In this endless pursuit of knowledge and wisdom, let us remember that our most profound insights often come from not just learning new facts, but also re-evaluating our foundational beliefs. In the cosmic dance of physics and metaphysics, facts and faith, perhaps we won't find definitive answers, but we will indeed cultivate deeper questions. And as we journey deeper into the cosmic mystery, we might just realize that the true voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, we should always remember that science and religion serve different purposes. Science helps us understand how, while religion seeks to explain why, they are not necessarily incompatible. Rather, they offer different perspectives on our existence and the nature of the universe. While physics can provide us with an understanding of the universe's fundamental laws, it can never conclusively prove or disprove the existence of a higher power. This is because the tools of physics are empirical and mathematical, based on measurable phenomena. The idea of God, however, falls into a realm beyond the empirical, a realm that requires a leap of faith rather than an equation or experiment to comprehend. This does not mean that physics has nothing to say about God, or that the concept of God has no place in a world understood by physics. On the contrary, the complexities and intricacies of the universe revealed by physics can often inspire a sense of wonder and reverence. For some, understanding the elegant laws and vast scale of the universe brings them closer to what they perceive as the divine. For others, the lack of necessity for a divine being in the physical workings of the universe reinforces their secular worldview. In the exploration of quantum mechanics and the idea of a multiverse, we encounter possibilities that seem almost mystical in their strange and counterintuitive nature. For instance, Quantum entanglement's suggestion of a connection that transcends distance, and the potential of parallel universes where different physical laws may apply, can lead us to contemplate the nature of God in new and interesting ways. Could God exist in a state of quantum superposition, being in all possible states at once? Could there be different versions of God in parallel universes, each adapted to the unique physical laws of that universe? These questions may seem far-fetched, but they reflect the potential for physics to inspire deep philosophical and theological reflection. However, it's crucial to understand that such musings remain speculative and metaphorical, not scientific conclusions. They are attempts to reconcile our scientific knowledge with our spiritual beliefs, but they should not be mistaken for evidence or disproof of God's existence. In conclusion, while physics can provide us with profound insights into the nature of the universe, it cannot definitively answer questions about the existence or nature of God. Such questions remain in the realm of personal belief, philosophical inquiry, and theological reflection. The journey of exploring these questions can be a deeply personal and transformative experience, potentially leading to a richer understanding of both the universe and one's own belief system. As we continue to unravel the secrets of the cosmos, we may not find definitive answers to our deepest existential questions. However, the pursuit of these questions can lead us on a path of wonder, discovery and growth. Whether we conceive of the universe as a divine creation, a self-sustaining physical system, or something else entirely. Regardless of our beliefs, the exploration of the universe offers us a grand adventure that can inspire awe, curiosity, and a deeper appreciation of our place in the cosmos.